welcome collective i'm back with another video so yes this is going to be a video of what's going on with the divine masculine and the karmic okay so let's see what's going on with them we're gonna start off with the island time wellness love oracle deck and then we'll jump into the tarot Hold on, I may start off with the Kemper deck. No, I'm going to start off with the Island Time. If I need to go into the Kemper deck, then I'll go into the Kemper deck. Alright, so what's going on with the Lesson and the Karmic? What's going on with the between the masculine and the karmic? All right, so we got the butterfly and the grim reaper, the mirror. I feel like as much as the karmic wants this relationship to evolve and go into the next phase, I feel like um, it hasn't gotten to that level yet. I feel like it's something real lighthearted. Maybe some type of truth has came to the light. And I feel like this karmic, she's very, like, gullible. She's very much so like a giver. Like, she overgives herself to try to keep the masculine around. I feel like she also could be dating this masculine um, for love. I feel like, in particular, this masculine is dating possibly out of um survival i'm getting that as well because the connection isn't moving to the next level okay so let's find out and see why how does the masculine feel about this one I really don't like taking cards that fell on the floor, but it's both. So, this karmic is getting what he wants and what he needs, and things are progressing along and going in his in his favor. But this also talks about moving on to culture issues. But girl talk came out, so he may feel like she gossips a lot, like she's always on the phone gossiping. Maybe she talks too much for his liking. Yeah. We got the phoenix and talking, the chaser. See, yeah, I like you. He feels like this Carmen likes him enough to chase him. Okay. Um, it's like she's talking her way out of this connection. I feel like she he feels like she talks too much with friends, like she gossips too much. In his eyes, see, this is girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, and having fun. That's exactly what what he's doing. He's having fun. This is this is something that's fun for him. Okay, we got a photograph. Looking at your photos, mo missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. See, this masculine over here missing somebody from his past. He knows we got karmic relationship right here. He knows that this is a karmic. He knows. He's very aware that this is a karmic relationship. We got the runner. Yeah, see, he's running away. He's going the opposite way. She's chasing, and he's going the opposite way. 
Wow, he's too busy reminiscing from something from his past. See, we got a camera right here. He's busy reminiscing, thinking about somebody from his past. He's busy thinking about divine feminine while he's in this karmic relationship. This is why the connection is not evolving to the next level. It's not evolving because he's not allowing it to evolve. We got palm tree. Yeah, see, the goal is for it to get to a very comfortable state. Palm tree is also, yeah, not today. Palm tree is also like the marriage card, long-term card. We got not today. I feel like some type of truth or clarity is going to come out. This karmic is going to get some type of truth about this uh, masculine or this masculine is going to give her some type of truth. And I feel like with not today, somebody's going to end up hurt. Somebody gone, it's possibly going to end bad. Okay, we got not dealing, hurt, avoiding the conversation, call person, boundaries, and somebody being upset. This karma going to be upset because this masculine is going the opposite direction, doing things. She's going coming like this, and he's steady. This is the energy. <laughs> that's the energy. It's not funny, but I'm just saying, like, that's what it looks like what's going on. That's what it looks like what's going on. This is it's sad because I really feel like she's dating for love. She's looking for the love of her life. But this masculine is very aware of his intentions. He already knows that this relationship is karmic. I feel like it's going to end badly because we got the Grim Reaper and we got Not Today. Both of these energies just like, nah, nah, this ain't going to work. Let's jump into the Kemper deck because I want to see, get a little bit more details before we jump into the tarot. What is this masculine's intentions towards this karmic? Or what's this karmic? What's, what, are the, what are the intentions of this connection? We got a house. Somebody could be doing some scamming. Could be some scamming going on. We got imprisonment and thief and house. Somebody got some. And then we got a courthouse. Yeah. It's like somebody doing some scamming. Somebody got some sneaky stuff going on on the side. Tell me more. Okay, so somebody's working on, somebody's intentions is to get a house, paying a mortgage. Okay, this main male. So this is karmic. She wants to build with this uh, masculine. She wants to build. I'm hearing build. She wants to build something solid, a solid foundation. Um, she's wanting to flip and turn him into a wealthy man. Okay, so she's trying to upgrade him. We got poverty and change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's over here being this, trying to be the divine feminine when she's really a karmic. So, I don't know how this is going to go in her favor because of the masculine, he already know his intention. He knew his intention upon going into the connection. So, it looks like she's trying to change this masculine. Um, she's trying to change this masculine. Trying to change him into a wealthy man right now. The main male, you know, he look good and everything, but he, he ain't on this wealthy level yet. She's trying to work on that with him, like build him. I'm hearing that, like build, build him up. I'm hearing build a bay. Okay, over here acting like she the divine feminine. All right, what else do you need? What else? 
what's just going on between these karmic and these karmic. Show me how this is going to go. We got the six of wands and the nine of cups. So, yeah, so this Carmen, she wants to keep this masculine's attention. Okay, so the goal is to keep this masculine's attention. I feel like somebody wants this connection for the attention. Someone's definitely trying to keep the attention. This this karmic does not want to have regrets does not want to have regrets because she feels like one day he could break up and walk away like possibly like some like all the other men in her life has done you got the king of wands and the seven of cups and all that work that she did is just gonna fall apart and she's gonna be extremely upset if she gotta move on because she feels like she put in a lot of work she feels like so she's making making it seem like you owe her you know, like, I I did all of this, you owe me type of thing. All right, so we got Page of Cups and the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Justice and the Ace of Pentacles. Death, Ten of Cups, a Hierophant, and the Five of Swords. So, this karmic, it looks like, has some insecurities as well as kind of jealous and a little petty. Um, I'm getting a marriage here. Maybe she's talking, trying to get masculine to marry her. Yeah, this karmic does what this karmic issue is. This karmic does not want to be alone. This karmic don't want to be by herself. So she she's she'll take it off of this masculine. I feel like this masculine uh could be honest with her, and she's just going along with it. She's going along with it. Yeah, I'm here. What you felt like you got to hide that for? So she's saying I'm not ugly. So maybe she's she t asked masculine why masculine was hiding her because she's not ugly. Okay, why is the seven of wands here? Yeah, this car make crazy. She got one. She got some insecurities. Why the seven of wands here? Queen of wands. This could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But she's she's very pushy. Yeah, she's she, this masculine is is kind of like giving her this push. It's giving her this push. She's pushing masculine. This is what I'm saying. She's push, pushing masculine to speak up about something. She's pushing him to do something that he doesn't want to do. I'm hearing no. I'm hearing a flat out no with the four of cups and the two of swords. But she's trying to figure out if he really loves her or not. So he got her confused anyway. Yeah, she's waiting on this masculine to ask her to marry him. Because she don't want to be by herself. Why is the Knight of Swords here? She feels like she is like, okay, well, since you 
such of a changed man. Like, I think this masculine male told her that she's, that he's changed or he's done some type of gesture. Like, yeah, we got the the emperor and the devil. Um, This masculine has some, some real toxic ways. But what she may not know is that he did this for attention. He did this for attention. He about to take on the ride of her life. She said, you're not going to play me like I'm ugly. So she's she's very, she think that this is about beauty or who looks the best or who. She's thinking very on the low vibrational energy. Why is the four of wands here? Yeah, King of Pentacles. She wants stability. She wants this masculine to like build. She she's she's waiting on this masculine to ask her to marry her, marry him, and so they could build a life together. She think about it every day. She feel like she's waiting on. She she, she literally thinks about this every single day. Like masculine getting down on his knees, asking her her to marry him, and like yeah, she thinks about this every day. She's trying to manifest this with this masculine. Why is justice here? I'm hearing a Libra. A Libra could be important in this connection. I'm telling you, she think about this in her head. I'll, she's thinking about this all the time. She want her happily ever after. She feel like if he leaves, she's going to stalk him um, until he tells the truth about their connection. Um, but she said, yeah, you're going to regret it if you leave. Five of Wands in the tower. This person could be a Leo with the strength card here. We got the magician. Yeah, she going. She feels like you're going to regret it. Because if you try to hide what we had going on or what how we was rocking, I'm going to make you tell, talk about what happened. And you're not going to you're not going to stay in that relationship and move on to somebody else. We got divine feminine here. The Empress here. She'd do anything. She'd say that she's pregnant just to get him, to get his attention, playing with his head. But she's trying to figure out what he own. Like, is it the love for real or is he playing with her? I feel like this masculine throws out hints or tells her truth. She's just not accepting um, the truth for what it is. We have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Eight of Wands. I feel like this masculine could be asking her for money, asking her for a gift, asking her for something that's tangible. That could be her way that she's keeping masculine around. This masculine wants to go back to someone from his past. This masculine Okay. This masculine is thinking about somebody from his past. He's thinking about a relationship that was solid, that he could have been in for a long time because we got the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay, this masculine is thinking about a connection from his past. We got the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Six of Cups. This masculine is not even thinking about the connection that's in front of him. He's thinking about this connection from the past. And I'm hearing him, like, his intuition telling him to reach out to this person from the past. But he owes this person from the past an apology. Um, some type of truth got out. 
is spying on this person from the past and he took things too far he overstepped a boundary he overstepped a boundary but his goal is to make this karmic think that this person from the past is the bad person and not him okay but he's stressing out on the inside he took things way too far and he feels like there's no coming back from it he's trying to figure out why everybody wanted me to end that connection with this person from the past when you think about this is what he's thinking about every day he feels like he's now he's reevaluating what a man is supposed to do a man's role a man's position but he gets tired of thinking about it but he think about it every day he think about it. it's the divine feminine he's thinking about the divine feminine every day he's like should i just tell that i'm out i'm out here just having fun this masculine just out here living this ain't nothing serious for him she this karmic definitely does want to get married she's trying to hold him back from uh, going back and forth because she put in a lot of work she put in a lot of work she wants the attention from this connection she wants uh to say that she accomplished uh something in a relationship with this masculine She's going to be really upset when she realizes that she did it for nothing. And it fell apart. And it's over. This is going to end badly. This one right here going to end badly. I'm hearing. How you think I feel? How you think I feel? I'm hearing you want to be over there the whole time. You want to be with me for the attention. It's like a show. The Six of Wands and the Three of Cups. This is entertainment. This is a show. Okay. the judgment the tower in the world in that order this is going to be a real big wake up call for this karmi the tower is going to hit and that chapter is going to close Is gonna end up feeling like he planned this out, like he had this already planned out in his head. She just wanted somebody to love her, but she ended up in this five of cups, five of cups energy and regret. Okay, yeah, because the whole time he was thinking about the feminine, he was thinking about the divine feminine, nine of swords, and the empress. And he tried to make it seem like the Divine Feminine was the bad person in the scenario. But really, this masculine can't stop thinking about that connection. This masculine is just trying to find something to do. Because she ain't nothing but a painkiller, painkiller. You need for me to paint the picture, paint the picture. I was never really fucking with you, fucking with you. No. Um. Y'all let me know what's going on in that comment section below.